Okay, so I wanted to give you guys an alternative to using a program like SoundForge to do your sound editing and an approach that you can use strictly inside of Ableton to take your remix from the raw tracks given to you by an artist all the way through to the remix phase. In fact, in some ways it'll actually work a little bit better for you than working from a separate program for your editing. So what I've got here is I've got an old uh, remix song file that was sent to me by a band and basically what they gave me was just all the tracks completely unnamed. Typically you will get named tracks but if you end up just getting the full session then basically what they're doing is they're just rendering all the tracks from the song the way they are. And if that's the case you could just drag the tracks in to Ableton. And what I also recommend is make sure to go to your preferences and turn off the auto warp long samples. And then you drag your tracks in and as you can see, you only see one track, but if you hold down the command key or the control key on a PC, you notice that now all the tracks go downward. So let go of those and all your tracks are in. The next thing you'll want to do is check the length here. Give me just a second here. What I want to drag in also is a drum track. I'm just going to pop that up top. It's good to have a kick track or, a, or the full drum track on the top when you're uh, getting ready to do your edits. Now we're in a situation here where this track is a different length than all the rest. And I can't just cut this in order to tell Ableton that, that everything is the same. So what I'm going to do is just like I said, I'm going to highlight and then I'll go to edit and consolidate. All right, so now they're all the same length, which is exactly what we want. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the bottom track so that you can actually see the clip properties. And then hold the shift and click on the top track. And now what we've got is it's showing us the top track here. But the cool thing is when I warp this track, it's automatically going to set the same warp markers and all the, all the same warping techniques for all these tracks so that they'll all line up just perfectly. So in this case what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag the first warp marker to the first kick right onto the closest downbeat which is going to work fine with me. Now you, you don't have the right click options like set to one and a lot of other uh, warping techniques when, you, when you're using multiple clips. So you have to warp this manually. So I would just come here and warp from here. And I've shown people how to do this in other videos so I'll kind of jump past this whole warping part and we'll get into the editing. Alright so we've got our, our parts warped come over here hit save and now we're ready to cut up the samples. So what I'll do here is I'll just uh, highlight sections that I want. You know, here's I'll solo this part and and that's pretty much just a straight kick all the way across. And I know that, so you know, I'm not really getting a whole lot out of this track except for a loop. So I'm just going to highlight the section, hit Command E or Control E on the PC and that's going to be the only part that I need from that track. So I've just uh, deleted the other parts. And I'll jump over here. Looks like both these are guitar tracks. Just for this I'll, I'll go ahead and delete this audio track here and I'll delete this one as well because they're both the same. Kind of a right and left signal and now I'll just try to find something interesting here. Oh, let's solo this one. I like that there. 
So I'll go ahead and highlight that section here, Command E. Then I'll go through this and see if I find other parts. All right, that seems like an alternative to the other one, which is good. I'm going to delete this one in the middle because I already know that I'm not going to use it. Just so I don't get confused on what the good loops are and which ones I'm not going to end up using. Okay, that sounds like more of the same. That's kind of cool. Okay, great, and I might go through, you know, more of this if I were doing the actual remix, but this is just an example I wanted to show you. I'd come into here and see what we got here. Okay, so we got three different but similar parts. I'll go ahead and loop each of these because I might be able to you know, layer them together to create a, a stronger sound or whatever. So great, and then I'll just delete the sections I'm not work, working with. And let's see. And that looks like more of the same, so I'll just get rid of that. Next one. Seems like I'm always, always outnumbered. Seems like I'm always since this is just a short bit, I'll probably just use this whole thing because I could always cut it up later as well. I just kind of want to get rid of the, the parts that I'm not going to need. And I know that this other track is doing the same thing, so I'll just cut both of those, get rid of these, and get rid of these here. Okay, great. So now we've got all of the parts that we're going to use from the tracks that we've grabbed for a remix. Let me just kind of pull them all together here. And now what I could do is go to each one of these and I can consolidate each track. And what that does is it cuts out all the unused sections so that this loop actually just becomes whatever's within the part that I had grabbed, the, the loop section that I had grabbed. So just right click and consolidate each of the parts. All right, so now we have all the parts that we're going to use for the track, just assuming that these were all the parts we were given. And then what I will do is I could create a folder here, go to my desktop, right click, create a folder, and we can call this, uh, you know, whatever the name of the remix is. And you may want to name each of these files. I'm not going to do this in, in this little tutorial, but to do that you just click on it, hit Command R, and then you can name each of the files. That way you know the names of everything when you need to go back to them. Then I could just go ahead and put them all on the same audio track. I'll highlight them all and just drag them in to the remix folder. And I, I'll just name this remix whatever. 
And now it's got all the samples in here, but even easier, if I click down here in the audio, it's got all the different parts, and each of these parts will be named, so you could just simply drag one part in, or drag all the parts in for use in your remix. So that's another way that you can accomplish editing your parts and preparing them for remixing.